Oh, Lam is actually interested in negotiating terms. Okay, okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. 18 year old Belgian. 17 aggression, 17 bravery, 16 finishing, 15 stamina, 17 flare, 17 flare, 16 finishing. Um, ah. Both technique as well. <laughs> Best position bomb in midfielder. Come on. Come on, we should be winning this one. Good stuff, good stuff, good header, good header. Second minute. Let's score a couple more. I said let's core a couple more. Let's not concede a couple more. Yay, Plum and Andre finally with a save. Maybe you could have saved one of the headers against you when we played Roma. Uh, a boring... Yeah. What is your general style of play of the, of the team? Like possession based or more of a long ball chase it? We're scoring a third. We're scoring a third. hard to say. <laughs> For how long you've been with the same coach? Oh, it's a tree at the back. But it's like uh, B-Center house and no wing backs. Or the two on the wings are also going to defense. They are always helping the defense, but like, are they, what type of players are they? Are they wingers or more of a wing backs? Yeah, since April is not long, we cannot really expect to see some very well structured style of play. You can you can see ideas and you can see patterns, but wing backs, nice. The thing with two strikers, I really like. I don't. Uh, I'm not a fan of this uh, approach in the last 15 years to play with one striker. I don't know. I, I really liked the game more when there were two, two strikers on the field. And it's so much difficult if you play with one striker because like the two center halves that are usually against you, it's easy to... It's easier to defend. Oh, they're usually wingers. 
sounds like an aggressive system but yeah if you if you have like wingers it's kind of it kind of makes sense with the two dms otherwise you're too open to the back proposition counter attack yeah Ooh, we got a penalty. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what I was saying, that if you have just a, a single striker up top, it's really difficult for them. They need quite a lot of support from the wingers or for uh, inverted forwards, whatever they are. But still, like... It was very sad for me to watch the Bulgarian national team when uh, Dimitar Barbatov was still playing. Because he was playing alone as a striker up top and he had no support from the midfielders and the wingers were usually not great as well. And uh, it was really sad because his best ability is to play with the ball in his feet and to, to keep possession and he had flair and he can do things, but as a single striker up top, he couldn't do much. And he had his best Manchester United days when he was playing alongside Rooney or Tevez and having Cristiano on the side as well. So even the, the best strikers find it tough to play alone against the center halves. Good at pressing or hold a play. Same thing with Levski Sofia currently with my club. And I actually had to, in the safe, I had to sell both, both strikers because they are pressing forwards. They are not good. Boring. You are my future star. Who well, there, Skorgo? Ludovic. And when you talk about a offensive player who's not scared to go into a tackle, in my head I see Wayne Rooney <laughs> running 30 meters and tackling someone with a sliding tackle. <laughs> oh. Come on! Ooh, a lot of power, no accuracy. <laughs> I know the feeling. But, but the next sad thing is when you just have clean sheets and you struggle to score a goal. That's Levski in real life right now. Yeah, definitely. 36 year old. Although, Johnny Evans is actually doing it right now for Monday night. <laughs> I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm so impressed by Thiago Silva. Is he 36 or 37 already? He's still doing it as center back, like. And not, like, because it was, if it was Serie A, like, Chiellini and someone like this, where the football is a bit slower. But, but in the Premiership, 38, whoa. Oh my god, we missed the penalty. <laughs> they consider the penalty from the penalty. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, let me see this. This was 
this was insane. They got a red card after the penalty. So we get a penalty. Stefan with misses. He goes for the ball. He stuck up from behind <laughs> for a red card in another penalty. <laughs> oh my god. How do I change the player? I don't want him to shoot this one as well. <laughs> oh. Change player, change player button. No, I can't change it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Saved again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Give us a penalty! Come on! We deserve a penalty. That was a bad challenge. Nice long ball. Come on. Let's score one before halftime. Can you imagine missing all three? All three of them. Was he offside? I think that Ludovic was offside. Well, we managed to score. And the thing that you were saying about the 36 year old uh, being a good support for a 19 year old, this is actually how I felt about Matthias the league going to Juventus, and I expected for him to be great there, but for some strange reason. Just didn't work for him. I don't know why. It was like having Bunucci and Chiellini. <laughs> nah. But, but I was expecting the button change, uh, change taker. He's still the best penalty taker I have. And you know what? I subbed him off, so I didn't have to change the penalty taker. Nice. Nice piece of football. Who needs pass when you can score goals from open play? We didn't need the pen, we needed the red card. So it was actually a smart move by Stefano. He wanted to miss it so he can get tackled. It's just the beauty that we are not recognizing. <laughs> the penalty is for third, forty fourth minute. I should have made changes before the. <laughs> 70th minute. Oh, I can. Okay. Four XG, two goals. Five XG, two goals. Is it? Yeah, but the two penalties are one and a half XG, so. Oh my goodness. Four point eight XG.
this defense. I don't know. I don't know. I need a new goalkeeper. Fortunately, not where I live, but... Just seeing the scenes of people digging mud from their houses is so depressing. Okay, okay, nice play, nice play. Nice play, and we score a goal. 10 minutes in. Anything else? There it is. Now... You run like the wind! Come on, Sorrowful. Run like the wind. Sonku. Antoine Stoyanov. Through the middle. For Lamy. For Vlachovic. And it's a second one! You can't wait for the full game to come. Is it still like uh, the... This is the better version, right? Oh my god, we got the red card. And it's not like all players full database. It's just a sample. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, adding. What happened there? Did we score? Like, it was. He hit the post and Lamy. Why, why was it reviewed? I don't understand it. Oh, really? You missed it by trying to add logo packs. I was actually considering whether I should try and add uh, logos and names because, like, Capitoline, come on, I wanted to see Roma there. And the other thing with the with the faces, origins, but I didn't do it when I started the safe and at some point I was like, whatever. Next time, maybe. Yeah. Thank you actually for warning me. I uh, I didn't know that you can mess your save, so I'm definitely not doing that. Yeah, they're like 40 gigs or something. At least one that I tried downloading. But it's also weird because one of them one of them was actually with uh, photos of real footballers, and I was more interested in one that is uh, generating faces for regions. hours to, to download this insane we are down to 10 men and afterwards we score two more goals both by Lamy the only thing that's actually annoying me is the names I'm okay with the missing faces. I'm okay with like missing club badges and stuff, but the names. And it's also annoying because if you play FIFA, they also miss some of the names and they come up with different names and like. Maybe France as well. They also have a lot of stadiums, but I... Uh, 
it's a larger country and there is a eh, larger relatively ra larger and uh, traveling between cities is a bit longer that's a nice plan <laughs> Definitely a thing you can enjoy. I'm always so jealous of uh, guys that support their local team. That is one of the Mastodons, like let's say a Man United or something. And uh, you can travel like so many away games and experience that. Stefanov with the header. Oh, it's not Stefanov, Moisa. Have I ever visited an away game? I don't think so, by the way. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, I've never visited an away game. So weird. But it kind of requires company to travel with. If you are probably part of the core supporter group that travel together, maybe it's also fun as well. Yeah, the supporters bus is probably fun. When I was younger, I would have probably been doing it. With my home team with Levski. Uh, if the stadiums in Bulgaria were better. Like, they're awful. They're god-awful. And unfortunately, fan culture here is quite on the aggressive side. And I don't like violence and I don't like to participate in such things. Solid stuff. We're playing nice football right now. The new guy that I bought, Ludwig Lamy, is actually doing quite well with the 16 finishing, but he's also tall. He also assists. Really nice, he's doing well. 15 stamina is great by the way as well. Yeah, if you're not supporting one of the clubs that is causing trouble on the road. I guess it's better. This sounds really nice, by the way. <laughs> there is a uh, YouTuber. What was his name? He goes by Vize. Vize. Uh, he's a FIFA, FIFA YouTuber. And he's now living in Poland, I think, because he married there. But he's a Burnley fan, and he sometimes talks about it, like, uh, the whole experience because he was traveling. Yeah, visa, exactly. Because he was traveling, and it, uh, it, it felt it felt like what you were saying. Like, that he felt it as a bit of a family thing with all the other fans, taking the bus, having a six-hour ride somewhere to an away game for Burnley. Ooh, there was such a nice pass there, but he didn't pass it. Oh, 66 minutes. I need to make changes now. And when I say that I need to make changes, it's because of a guy called Zealand.
who made an experiment and found out that players do not get training bump and development bump if you sub them on with less than 20 minutes to go so i'm trying to beat zealand's achievement by using his advice <laughs> lovely stuff we were really struggling last seasons with these games and now the squad is good enough to easily defeat these teams nice pass come on Lamy wonderful finishing by Ludovic Lamy the 18 year old Belgian Well done, team. 4-1. Now, the draw against Antwerp was so annoying. And we took the lead and they equalized. Vega, I told you you're gonna play more. There you are. Sanovic, who I got on loan, 18-year-old. I got him on loan because I want to sign him. Is there any chance that I can sign him, actually? Okay, now he is actually interested in opening talks with us. He was not previously. And I think that I should not waste time. And just get the guy. Like 16 tackling, 15 work rate, 18 balance, 16 determination, 18 bravery. Getting is just 10, although he's quite short. He's quite short for a center back. Is he gonna grow more? He's 18. Maybe a couple of centimeters. Maybe above 180. Nah. He's not gonna grow more. <sighs> Poor dribbling is not great, so he cannot be a good fullback. Okay, but let's be honest, like, he is right now playing for us. And he has potential. So this guy, if I get him for 5 million, he's gonna cost 15 when he's 21, so... 8 million? Uh... How about this? Yeah, 8 million is the clause in the loan contract. I didn't like it, but I didn't want to change it. Uh, yeah, they're like, you have a clause, you have to pay it. Nah, I'm not doing that business right now. Long term, who is our other defender? That's fine, let's just go to game. Let's just go to the game. Last game for today's stream, September Sofia away. Marin Petkov is back in the Marseille squad after injury, which is also important for us. Oh no, he's not. I think I saw his name. Maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, nice true ball. And he was tripped. He was tripped. It's a pen. And it's not... No. Is it? Yeah, let's... Let's uh, leave Stefanov as a penalty taker. Third time is the charm, they say.
He actually scored it. Can you believe it? Finally. <laughs> oh. He actually scored a penalty. Wow. What a fabulous first touch. The ball just went seven meters away. What is seven meters? <laughs> oh. He's got the touch, the magical touch. Stefanov for Blanco. Dude. Okay, it works. This is what in FIFA with my FIFA buddy we call a French goal. When you shoot and the rebound goes back to one of your strikers and you just score. And we call it French goal just because uh, before we, it was possible to play co-op in uh, Ultimate Team, we were playing with France. And it won FIFA, I don't think, we, I don't remember which one it was, 19 or 20. Every, every second goal was like a rebound. You shoot, you hit the post, and Griezmann scores the rebound. You shoot, Keeper saves it, then Bele runs in and scores the rebound. Nice goal by them. Okay, at half time. We managed to actually score three goals in 30 minutes. I'm happy with the number of shots, guys. I am happy with the number of shots. Keep on doing what you're doing, it works. Midcoop from the corner. Near post, Moisa, and it's in. It's in. The new corner tactic works. This is like fourth goal of Moisa from corner today. Stefanov back to the wing for some reason. Across and uh, Vlachovic. They have a single shot on target and they have scored with it. We should be ashamed. I have to find a video of the Game of Thrones scene with the with the bell. Shame! Shame! And I have to find a way to incorporate it into the stream. And play it with a click of a button. Ooh, they are trying to score an on go. Extra time, corner, for September. And they score! We are so bad at defending corners. But it's alright, we are scoring them, so... It kinda evens out. <laughs> 